इकोलॉजिकल मैनेजमेंट फॉर पेस्ट मैनेजमेंट ओके दैट मीन्स इट इज समवर्ट मोर लाइक योर कल्चरल मेथड ये सर नो सो व्हाट इज दिस इकोलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग और इकोलॉजिकल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ क्रॉप एनवायरनमेंट यू सी बाय टारगेटिंग द इकोलॉजी by manipulating the environment you have to make it such a way that it will be favorable for the natural enemies and it must be unfavorable for the pest yes or no ha huh? ecological management is the purposeful manipulation of the environment to reduce the rate of pest increase and damage yes or no it is based on through uh, thorough understanding of pest ecology biology etc nutrients habitable space shelter and physical environment okay these are the major requisite for your pest which can be modified to reduce the pest population yes or no the for example are you are they have gregarious marching habit trench digging is possible over wintering or over summer, uh, summering form expose them to natural enemies deep summer plowing and all rice yellow stem borer opposite on the leaf tip clipping of the rice leaf tips murgo varieties asparagus and deficient you grow this murgo variety crop rotation with non target crop rotation yes or no ha huh? by breaking this what continuous growing of the same host yes or no that uh, pest development chain can be broken yes or no ecological management can be grouped as reducing the average favorability of the ecosystem it reduces the pest density by reducing the availability of the food shelter in your habitable space etc how you can go for crop rotation crop residue destruction prevention of this rotten cropping go for only annual banana planting yes or no efficient storage and processing destruction or modification of the alternate host and habitats removal of this alternate host clean cultivation tillage proper uh, deep summer plowing will be there irrigation yes or no which require water drain out the water which don't require water flood the field yes or no fill chemigation yes or no chemical with irrigation this is one thing what is second disrupting the continuity of pest what requisites reduce the continuity in space crop spacing offset the chronological continuity early sowing late sowing crop rotation crop following living for few periods disrupt the crop and insect synchron uh, synchrony early sowing late sowing those things huh host escape that thing will come into role then diverting the pest population away from the crop how by using this trap cropping strip harvesting time to time intercropping yes or no push pull technology this one we will discuss some huh? push pull technology in the practical last experiment fourth one is reducing the impact of insect injury modify host tolerance modify the harvest schedule okay then advantages of ecological management what is advantage oldest techniques least expensive no other uh, inputs are required only you have to modify the practices and it is compatible with all other tactics weak links are identified and exploited preventive techniques yes or no then most effective with insect that have a narrow host range low rate of dispersal okay now coming to ecological engineering what is that ecological engineering for pest management is a comprehensive overview of traditional cultural techniques habitat management cultural method of pest management and new technologies like your precision agriculture and how these various tools can be used to promote natural enemies is a cornerstone for sustainable agricultural productivity by mixing what production with the protection measure integrating how are the use of cultural techniques to effect habitat manipulation and enhance biological control must readily fits the philosophy of ecological engineering for pest management that means cultural method is a part along with cultural method you integrate this biological method that will be known as what your ecological engineering okay ecological engineering is about manipulating the farm habitats i already have told making them less favorable for pest and more attractive towards your beneficial insect making it unfavorable for the pest favorable for the natural enemies okay habitat manipulation for encouragement of natural enemies include agroforestry crop rotation uh, what uh, this castor crop uh, plantation or uh, bird purchase we can keep yes or no huh? crop diversity flower strips natural enemy refuges 
trap crops and other technologies are there. Post-pull strategy will discuss uh, in a separate way. Huh? Okay, uh, leave these things. I will tell you in a separate class uh, with picture and all. Okay, what is that? In the practical, last practical. Okay, natural enemies may require food in the form of pollen or nectar. Shelter such as overwintering sites, moderate microclimate, alternate host when primary host are not present. Now you see ecological engineering above ground, what you can do, below ground, what you can do. What is above ground? Raising the flowering plants, compatible cast crop along with the field border by arranging shorter plants towards main crop and taller plant towards the border to attract natural enemies as well as to avoid immigration pest population. You see, suppose shorter plants are there in the main field and in the border taller plants are there. So what will happen? When the pest is coming, they will first go to the taller plant. There they will first try to colonize. In between what will happen? Natural enemies will also come. They will feed on the pest. Yes or no? That is only testing. Next one is what? Growing the flowering plants on the internal buns inside the field. Okay, just to encourage this. What? Natural enemies, coccinellids. Not to uproot weed plants. Those are growing natural like your tridax, azeratum. Then this... Uh, Alterna theria, okay, which act as a nectar source for the natural enemies. This is all about natural enemy colonization. Yes or no? Not to apply broad uh, spectrum chemical pesticide which may kill all the insect. It may be natural enemies, it may be pest, it may be honeybees, whatever it may be. Yes or no? This is what above ground management. What is below ground? Crop rotation. Keeping the soil covered year round with this living vegetation, adding up this organic uh, matter like FIM, vermicompost, and all, reduce the tillage intensity, apply balanced dose of nutrients, less nitrogen, more potassium, apply mycorrhiza and plant growth promoting hormones, yes or no, rhizobacteria, apply the trichoderma, its seed and nursery treatment, pseudomonas for this uh, diseases and all.